Well, it's been, of course, uh, punctuated by all the news flow and uh, at least uh, now you would hope that there's going to be some bit of stability for last hour. Uh, too much to expect, uh, you never know, but uh, let's see. The market's been all over the place today. Uh, it went very close to an all-time high. In fact, went within five or six points of all-time high. Since then, corrected rather sharply and has now made a bit of a comeback, uh, getting volatile once again. Uh, we're starting closing bell a bit early. So, we high good afternoon. Good afternoon, Anuj. Finally, after what, six, seven weeks of in the whole hoopla, the polls, the exit polls, the final verdict, and now we also know the cabinet births, the allocation, it's all out of the way. I just want to add the global cues because now here onwards, we will be getting back to business. Mm. And on that basis, look at the weakness that you're seeing across Europe right now. We cannot take our eyes away from that entirely. A lot of these growth concerns, whatever Trump has been saying on Mexico, it's playing up in stock prices. That's Asia. Let's pull up European queues. That's a little more important right now. So that is the picture across the screen. Uh, and global queues are not supportive. Yes, crude oil prices are down, but typically when crude oil, crude oil prices are down because of growth fears, that doesn't typically work very well for stock prices either. Anyway, Anuj, I'm in back looking at our screen right now. It, it's a Friday. Every possible event is out mm. of the way. Now what next for this market? Tough, uh, <laughs> Surbhi. Uh, look, uh, everything uh, has to have some context. Mm -hmm. I think let's talk about the global queues first because that's going to be important. I was making this point in uh, you know earlier as well. I think S&P future uh, right now, uh, whether we have that kind of start or you know we have that kind of close, I think that's something which is going to be important. 2750 is sort of a line in fa uh, sand for for the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. Below that, uh, it's a bit of a better end. So that way, you know, uh, a lot depends on what happens overnight in the U.S. market. But uh, you know, just on this this point, I think it would give you a bit of a deja vu feeling. Remember, we had a big rally, and after that, on the result day, the market went to 12,000, then rather you know retreated rather sharply. Since mm -hmm. this went to 40,000, mm -hmm. and then actually closed in 38,000 something. Yeah. But over the next three days, there was fresh buying which emerged. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a monetary policy. Uh, there perhaps is going to be a pre-budget rally because this is the first budget of the new government. The new government so yes. there will be expectations. So, mm -hmm. so I think uh, that way uh, the 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 jury is out. Uh, I think uh, obviously at twelve thousand the risk reward is not in your favor to buy. That mm. point is well maintained. But uh, if the momentum continues, then who can argue against that? Uh, so let's see. First, we have to negotiate the last hour. I think Absolutely. that's important. Uh, let's see if uh, indeed the market can move on from the low point and then we'll take it from uh, there tomorrow. But uh, just keep an eye on what happens to the U.S. market uh, tonight mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, we are very close to some very important levels. Supports even there, absolutely. Let's see if we can hold these lows for our market um, and whether we, we actually, uh, you know, absorb any further selling pressure. Uh, so how should your positioning be? Let's get started with that all-important question. We have Sudarshan Sakhani and Prakash Gaba joining us on the show today. Good afternoon to you, gentlemen. Sudarshan, so... It's all done and dusted in terms of uh, political cues. Now, last one hour, as the volatility, the volatility that we've seen today, what would your advice be? Well, uh, good afternoon. Well, the volatility was spectacular, and uh, I won't go into the reasons of that. But I'll assume that whatever the reason was, the markets have come to a normal as of now. If that is so, then we are down 50 points from the yesterday, and that's the normal. If uh, so the chances are that today's morning rally has probably made a short-term top and given the weak nature of the European markets, the possible American decline and our own markets declining, we have made a short-term top and for the next couple of days we should be sliding slowly inching downward. So the trade in the Nifty is either not to do anything or to take a short position for the next couple of days. Okay, that's interesting. Uh to not do perhaps anything or take a short position. So, Sudarshan, uh, what's the stop loss for that trade? Uh, is it today's high? No, it's uh, 12,000. Uh, we've just crossed that and everything was okay. Hmm. But once markets have uh, turned around, uh, keep a stop at 12,000. And uh, it's, there is a, a possibility you do not need to take this position. But uh, I would say that the only way to trade is to take go short, if at all. Okay, Prakash, good afternoon. Uh, you agree or do you have a different trade? Good afternoon. I feel, like I said this morning, that the market is stretched. So we shouldn't grudge if we get a sideways move or a dip. We need to spend some time here. And we returned back from 12,000. That's a double top, technically. 
But we did not even boil it. We did boil it by four points. We had a very strong support at 11,836, came to 11,832 and survived there. So far, the trend looks okay. But now I would like to widen this range. Earlier it was 836. Now I would say that I will go up to 11,600. So if you get a dip up to 11,600, they are buyable dips if you are looking at a larger trend. In the short term, looks like the 12,000 needs to be crossed with force. For that to happen, we need to trade sideways or maybe a dip and then take out the 12,000 third time. Perhaps that would be okay. So I would say yes, there could be sluggishness on the sideways zone. Okay, all right. So that's on the index, the overall call. Let's now also talk stocks. So Darshan, your overall view is bearish in terms of stock action. What would you do last one hour? Uh, you're asking me, I think. Yes. Okay. Well, the stocks are all over the place. It's a very difficult market to identify stocks. At least for the index, we, we start developing a view. Uh, but... Uh, for whatever it is, uh, cement is a buy with uh, even this dip. So Ramco Cements could be considered for buying. Z Entertainment is a short sell and CG Power is a short sell. I'm not touching the uh, large caps first because some of the large caps are creating confusion in terms of charts and second because the drift is now to the downside. So it's easier to trade the index when we want to go short. Okay. Pa, pa. Prakash, your stock was? I like to both long. Bosch looks okay. Can see a climb to around 18,000 zones. Stop below 17,440. I also like Tech Mahindra. Looks like it's building up. Good base formation. Up move could propel it to maybe around 780 zones. Stop below 740. Okay. Do we have uh, the, the tic tac from uh, Narendra Singh Tomar? Uh, okay. Let's let's cut across. Amdani doguni ho. और किसान फायदे में रहे, गांव में समृद्धि आए, यह भारत सरकार की प्राथमिकता है, और इस प्राथमिकता के आधार पर भारत सरकार नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में काम करेगी। मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि इसके सदपरिणाम आएंगे। Sir, PM Kisan Samriddhi Yojana, which was before the election, is there any expansion in the cabinet today? Look, I have told you in the whole, that to bring the benefits of the farmers, the government can not be the government's power, and the government will not leave Narendra Modi Ji. Sir, do you have any two-three steps that you have targeted that these are all the benefits of the farmers? There is MSP, there are other things that have been found in the past year. Is there any target for the next five years? MSP, we have been doing it for a long time before. And that MSP is getting it. The government has to buy the government from the right direction. The benefits of the farmers will be found. सर खास तौर पर मुरैना भिंड इसी तरीके से जो सूखे एरिए हैं और सीमांत किसान और साथ में पहाड़ी खेती के लिए क्या करेंगे क्योंकि ओके दैट्स ऑफ कोर्स द एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज प्रायोरिटीज एसपीटलसन ऑफ एसपीटलसन डॉट कॉम एंड दीपन मेहता डायरेक्टर ऑफ एलेक्सर एक्विटीज नाउ विद आस गुड आफ्टरनून are you uh, are you happy? You think the market would be happy? Anuj, I think uh, market would be happy, and even I am happy because looking to her uh, performance as a commerce minister and defence minister, I don't think that you have any complaint. But I analyze the appointment of Nirmala Sitaraman more, you know, tra connecting the three portfolios. If Amit Shah has to get appointed as Home Minister which is the right and the uh, uh, and the correct uh, steps taken, obviously you have to remove the Rajna Singh from home, where will he go? He can't go into defense, uh, sorry, he can't go into finance and he can't go, go, go into external affair. Four being the important portfolio, home, defense, external affair and finance. So obviously he has been moved to defense. Now Nirmala Shitaraman, she was of the defense, so she has been moved to finance because external affair, Sushma Swaraj independently has been replaced by Jay Shankar. So yes, that was the uh, reshuffle, I think, or the rotation that happened in this three ministry with induction of uh, of of, of uh, Amit Shah into the cabinet. So I think this is the perfect fit, and as I said, that she has performed quite well. 
in uh, in she has a very uh, one thing i have noticed that whenever she she takes any char charge of any portfolio she completely you know takes a grip of that you know subject involvement and all sort of things so let's hope that things will be quite positive here in case of finance as well Fair point. Uh, yes, let's see what the next couple of days and weeks bring uh, with the new finance minister. Dipun Mehta is also with us this afternoon, joining in the conversation. Dipun, the question is this. Now, everything that had to be guessed, the speculation, everything is out of the way. Yes, we'll wait by to see what this government has to say in the budget. But for the market, is 12,000 a top? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Not by a long mark, by not by a long shot at all. Uh, this is just one of the uh, kind of uh, numbers which the market uh, uh, is has perhaps paused at, and going forward, you will see it cross uh, well about 12,000 over the next uh, several months and the quarters. And we are back into that uh, old multi-year bull market, uh, which had sputtered in 2018 and her first half of say 2019 or so. And uh, from this point on, I think it will be more broad-based and we will have many more sectors performing. The bull market may not be visible in the index stocks because the large heavyweight index stocks are almost priced to perfection. But uh, uh, the, uh, the next wave of index stocks, the next time of index stocks and mid-cap stocks uh, will start getting back into action. And uh, what I think you will see is again the re-rating of the P multiple, that is P multiple expansion. Uh, that will take place first before the earnings come through. Okay, visuals of uh, Piyush Goyal, of course, uh, the Railways Minister. Uh, we'll keep getting more and more visuals. For now, let's just, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Suresh Prabhu as well, he's meeting uh, Suresh Prabhu. Uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, a bit of a surprise for a lot of people that Suresh Prabhu is not part of the current ministry. But uh, let's see whether in the next round uh, uh, something happens. Uh, for now, uh, the market's quite stable, actually. Just, just look at some names. Uh, 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 Mr. Tulsan, uh, uh, you know, I wanted your thoughts on, uh, you know, on, on Berger Paints. You're talking about this stock in the morning. Uh, it's a top gainer right now, uh, almost 9% gains. See, I know it's difficult to comment for this 9% gain because, but I can say that the results were not bad. And in fact, paint stocks, you know, when the Asian paints corrected at that time, at that time also I've said that you get the opportunity to buy these paint stocks because there are very limited choice, only four stocks are available in this sector and you get the choice to, you get an opportunity to buy these stocks when they, when they, you know, when you have the near term apprehensions or, you know, the working comes down and in fact that's what has happened in case of all these three or four stocks. I'm not including consign or all but by my preference goes with uh, with Asian paint followed by Berger paint and says the same thing is happening here and maybe this crude softness in this recent for the last couple of days may have worked. But uh, I don't think that alone the uh, results could be you know, the reason for, for such a steep rise in Berger paints. So it could be the technical reason also because paint stocks were seen to be quietly, quite you know, uh, uh, oversold and uh, short positions were seen uh, pending in the system, which might be getting squared off now. Okay, um, we'll just uh, go back to the visuals that we're getting from Delhi. I think uh, the new Commerce Minister is speaking, addressing the press. Let's see what he's saying. I have a lot to learn from my senior colleague, Shri Suresh Prabhuji. We were exchanging some notes before we came here. I continue to take his guidance, his support. And once I have a better fix on the different areas of work in the ministry, then I will engage with all of you in more detail. For the moment, thank you very much. Okay, I, I don't think we have uh, immediate visuals, uh, but uh, that was Piyush Goel taking charge at the Commerce Ministry. Back to stocks, and the one that uh, we should perhaps focus our eye on today uh, is NCC. There's a big casualty today that's happened here with this counter. It's down 18 to 19 percent as we speak. We caught up with the management. Numbers are very simple. Their order book is 41,000 crores out of which 6,000 crores could get cancelled in Andhra Pradesh. 35,000 crores is remaining. And even in that, the exposure, the AP exposure is as much as eight to 10,000 crores. And the nervousness and the price damage is pretty apparent on the you screen. You know, I'll tell you one thing, and mm -hmm. this is where, you know, I like Mr. Murthy as, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as, uh, as one management. Mm -hmm. uh, he would never sugarcoat anything. Oh, yes, you know, absolutely. He, he, he would be, uh, you know, upfront. He would be frank. Yes. Uh, even last time we were talking to him, he said, yes, that risk is there. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, oh, 
the, the way to approach this stock now is Surabhi. Mm -hmm. I think from the trading point of view, it became very clear, very apparent in the morning that there was one recovery which was sold into. Mm -hmm. That it was very clear that it's it's going down yeah. today, and because yeah. it's it's rallied a lot. Mm. Uh, I think the investment way to uh, uh, you know look at this stock would be, is what Jagan saying just posturing, just mm. rhetoric, mm. or is this going to translate into tough times for NCC in mm. the state of Andhra Pradesh now? You know, you could argue that it's only 30% or whatever. Hmm. It's a large order yeah. book that you yeah. have from Andhra Pradesh and it opens up hmm. a political risk. Uh, if, however, it's just a rhetoric and it doesn't go beyond that, uh, I don't know, it happens in politics. Uh, in that case, with hindsight, you'll realize that perhaps today was the time to buy. <laughs> but I, I guess, you know, we can ask Mr. Tulsian uh, as well on, the, on, on that. Absolutely, Mr. Tulsian, uh, your thoughts on this? Because as of now, the numbers are worrisome. I mean, uh, he told us that uh, at best, Revenue for next year is going to be flat. 6,000 crores of orders could be cancelled. NCC and your approach now. So, Ruby, I think that stock has come to excellent levels to buy now, those because there is no point in chasing the momentum. But the problem nowadays is that investors and traders they love to you know chase the momentum. And I think that now the stock should be used as a buying opportunity more by the investors and not by the traders. Now, coming on the on the on the impact on, of this order, because there are two things. First, if you say the order pipeline, they have ample, you know, maybe good order of 30, 32,000 crore. And even if you take the uh, investigation of the 6,000 crore AP government order, many of those government orders, you know, of 6,000 crore must be of the key importance where they cannot afford to cancel, even if they found to be some daily dialing, you know, because maybe the completion of the of the new capital development of the states and all that. So I don't think that the risk reward is now seen against buying the stock. You should, in fact, go and buy. You will be seeing the swift because actually the stock was heavily overbought. Also, I always give the technical whenever a fundamental news flow comes in, that has to be corroborated with the technical factors also. And the stock was definitely seen in an overbought position. People have gone gungo with this new government coming in, focus in the, on the EPC projects and all that, and rightly so. So I think this is an excellent opportunity at, at 95 rupees, and I won't be surprised to see the share moving back to 105 rupees in this series, with the series having started today. So yes, on a fundamental basis, purely, this is not a trading call, no advice to create long positions, but as an investor, you should buy the stock now at 95 also. Oh, completely take that point, Mr. Hussain. I think the market's hearing that. Just see that tick by tick data of uh, NCC. Uh, in fact, that's now beginning to make a move uh, from, from the low point. Uh, uh, and if indeed uh, the, the low has been made, I'm, of course, you could argue about you know a rupee or two rupee over uh, here or there. But it's just put out a six month chart or one year chart. That's the tick by tick data. That, that was the point that I was making. So from the low point, of course, there's been a bit of a buying. But if you see the chart of the stock, now that's the six month chart of the stock. Uh, uh, it's because of today's fall that gain has been reduced to only about 10%. Mm. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's you know, CSA is a buy yeah. on the stock yeah. and a uh, aggressive target. And like Mr. Tulsan also said, you know, has shown execution. And once again, you know, it will find out whether this was just posturing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it was, then you know, it would have been a great opportunity to buy into this stuff. Absolutely. All right. On that note, let's do one thing. Take a quick break. Uh, the market for now is actually holding its levels. We're not seeing fresh declines come through at least. Uh, we'll take that break, continue this conversation. Also get chatting with Shribani Sarkar Kurian of Kotak Mahindra AMC. She heads the research there. So we'll see now that elections are behind us. What's the new positioning? Okay, that's of course uh, the new finance minister, the lady of the moment, uh, the, the easily the biggest winner of uh, this round of uh, cabinet formation. Yes, Nirmala Sitaraman, our new finance minister, about to speak. Uh, give us, uh, let's give us some space. 
think this is a photo opportunity for now. Uh, I don't know if uh, the finance minister is going to be making a statement, but absolutely ambushed by media out there. Yeah. Uh, and why not? I guess it's a huge moment. It's a uh, huge moment, yeah. It's a for Indian politics, for women, for, of course, uh, people who are in the country. already broken the glass yeah. ceiling in terms of defense ministry, but finance mm -hmm. ministry, I think yeah. it's just... Uh, Remarkable, sort of And I completely take Mr. Yeah, yeah. point. I mean, what uh, she has displayed in the last five years is tenacity to really go out, deep dive into whichever subject she is uh, supposed to lead, whether it was commerce, whether it was defense. And perhaps uh, that is a trade that she's going to apply at the finance ministry as well. The market is recovering now, by the way. And it's recovering big, Rather dramatically, actually. actually. <laughs> Rather dramatically. <laughs> this is the last hour play. You know, you never count out the last hour. And uh, who knows, perhaps the market could turn into the green at any point. For now, uh, the losses have been cut to about 25 points. We'll take that break and come back.